Kathy Copeland Patton is at it again. No dice, Kamala. I still don't like you in that way. No? Nopers? Hell no. You know, in the way that would compel me to vote for you in any capacity. I refuse to consider you as a presidential contender, and I'm no more enthused about you as Creepy Joe's second banana. It'll never, ever happen, girl. The chemistry just isn't there. You've been neo-lib-zoned, baby. It's like the friend zone, only with pink pussy hats and man buns. Why, you ask? Well, for starters, the way you use innocent human lives to advance your career is a complete abomination. When progressives, you claim to be one, which is knee-slappingly funny, called for criminal justice reform during your tenure as DA and AG, you resisted like a three-year-old at bedtime, or you remained mum, depending on the situation and what you stood to lose or gain. You fought like Braveheart to uphold wrongful convictions obtained by false testimony and evidence tampering. Justice was and is a completely foreign concept to you. Gotta keep those for-profit prisons making moolah by ensuring enough warm bodies were ensconced within. Whether your prisoners were guilty or innocent was irrelevant in the face of corporate gain. For that alone, you are unworthy of the VP slot, but hey, you've got a vag and darkish complexion, two factors that leave neoliberal hearts all aflutter. And there is, of course, this. I believe a child going without an education is tantamount to a crime, so I decided I was going to start prosecuting parents for truancy. Please tell me how this in any way benefits parents working two jobs to support their families. I'll help you out here, Mocha Hillary. It doesn't. Sure helps the for-profit prison industry, though, doesn't it? Yes, let's punish the poor some more, especially people of color. After all, some are still not incarcerated. And yet, when you were hoping for the top spot, you bounced around the country spouting Bernie Sanders' platform like it was your own, claiming to hold positions that your actions prove are a crock of shit. Gee, your hair smells terrific, little lady. In all fairness, you were hardly the only occupant of the DNC 2020 candidate clown car to do so, but that doesn't make you suck any less. You all suck, but you're a cop, so you suck more. Those obsessed with identity politics adore the progressive agenda when it's touted by a black-ish woman. Even if they're nipped from the platform of an old white dude who's done more for the cause of justice before breakfast than you've done your entire career. You are not progressive by any definition. You are Mocha Hillary, and the Pantsuit Sukubus Brigade is simply delighted to have another undeserving vagina owner to support loudly and stupidly. Choosing a cop, a freaking cop, amid our current ACAB climate is insensitive and tone deaf a gazillion t different ways, but it's also completely insane. ACAB is an acronym meaning all cops are bastards. It is used as a slogan and written catchphrase in graffiti, tattoos, and other imagery. It is sometimes numerically rendered as 1312 after the alphabetical order of the letters. The slogan is associated with self-proclaimed dissidents subjected to political persecution and police brutality. Then again, when has the DNC ever considered the needs of the American people or been sane? Don't bother, I already know. And for anyone thinking this is too much fuss for VP pick, bear in mind, Biden is a few crayons short of a box, and that's only going to get worse. It's almost a certainty that Biden's VP will end up taking the reins sooner rather than later. And hey, if Biden thinks her hair smells good, she's a shoe-in. Michael Moore was trying to tell us this months ago. I'll give you the link to that episode in the information section below. Michael Moore, if you don't remember, interviewed a bunch of DNC insiders and they told him that they were going to pick a brainiac woman to be Biden's VP because they could all see that he was losing his mind. So everybody on the inside knows that Biden's mind is deteriorating by the minute. So they're all expecting this VP pick to be the president. Cop Kamala, prosecutor Kamala doesn't give a shit about poor people of color, Kamala. After four years of that, Ted Nugent will be a lock for president. Even though Sean King totally caved in yesterday, 
and said that Kamala was an excellent vice president pick, I'm hoping that black millennials will see through this garbage. To me, it makes perfect sense that a Black Lives Matter protest could protest Kamala's choice here. Kamala's actions certainly haven't shown that she thinks Black Lives Matter. Lastly, I'll say that it's clear that Biden and the DNC insider camp is shitting all over progressive values and the progressives who just roll over and take it. You deserve everything bad that happens, but nothing bad will happen to you. The bad things will happen to the bottom half of the socioeconomic ladder. And that's why anyone who goes along with Biden and his VP pick suck so hard, I can't even tell you. It's time for moral people. It's time for sane people. It's time for non-sellout people to stand up against this bullshit. There's an anti-Biden march this weekend. Let's roll up our sleeves and participate. Now we need to replace Biden and his horrible VP pick. Let's get busy.